Hello and welcome to my PowerPoint about inspiration from my music video poster. <clears throat> I have already done a vlog about this, but this is a more closer analysis of everything that I've used to create the picture which you can see on the right. Let's begin. Anyway, from initial research, many of the music video posters tended to have a dark, abnormal sense, focusing specifically on its vibrant colours. I have indulged in many different music posters in order to create this final product. I drew inspiration from this music video poster of The Who, an aspect which came from the infamous peace symbol being the centre of the canvas. I decided to create a similar effect on my own poster only except without the peace symbol, it would be the revolution symbol. After researching many different symbols for the revolution, I decided to use my own hand to represent the symbol, which you can see on the right, whilst clutching a Prince Charles mask. I was also inspired from the Who poster to be as simplistic as possible. <clears throat> In my view is these posters that are the most eye-catching and become the most popular with examples such as Nirvana. The date on top is also as simplistic as possible to stay in touch with the poster, with low words like released on or available would make it too bulky and lose the poster's simplistic effect. I leave it to the audience for what this could represent, but I personally think it demonstrates that we should lead a revolution to unmask the truth about the media and how we are unmasking it from the fire it has created. Created. I also wanted to create a slightly posterized cartoon-esque look on the fist to bring a closer resemblance to the logo as well as to imply how this video is surreal. Green Day inspired me to keep only the artist and the artist's name in bold at the top, along with the song name not as clearly at the bottom. This poster also, also allocated slots to include the record label as I've done only in a more clearer font. Yeah, it is on there, actually, yeah. This is because King Charles is not yet as well known across the world as Green Day is. However, I'm sure he will be one day. The original intention, as you can see there, which is a little bit blurry, but if you just look a bit closer. <laughs> the, original the, uh, the original intention was to have three characters wearing masks, with one at the centre and two behind it in front of a black background. However, this proved unsuccessful as it made the poster look cheap. The flames were the only aspect that were kept during this change of process, as I wanted the resemblance to we didn't start the fire, but, well, the fire, obviously, and as an implication of how media has completely destroyed the society we used to live in. Like, so I'm sort of getting a mask from forged from a fire. After stumbling upon a revolution logo, I decided to use it. I chose the mask of Prince Charles because of the similarity of him and the artist's name, both to link the poster to the artist as well as the artist himself, who is a keen anarchist, with lyrics in this song such as, I'm still loyal to the Queen and she's still loyal to you and me. The face mask also has a white blur behind it as many criticised it for not looking enough like a mask. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.